Hello, and welcome back to ThinkTube. Today, we're going to talk about swearing. Yeah, you heard that right, but we'll be focusing on the science behind it. Why do we curse when we're angry, and why does it feel so relieving? What's happening in our body and brain, and why was cursing evolutionarily useful? Are we the only animals that do it? Stick around, and let's dive in. You know that moment when you stub your toe and a curse word just slips out? We've all been there, but have you ever wondered why we feel better after swearing? Well, it turns out that swearing does way more than just help us vent frustration. It actually affects our bodies and brains in fascinating ways. Research shows that cursing can boost your memory, raise your heart rate, and even help you handle pain. In one study, participants who cursed as they plunged their hands into icy water were able to keep their hands in longer and felt less pain than those who used neutral words. So what's the reason behind that? Swearing actually triggers a stress response that dates back to our ancient defensive reflexes. A flush of adrenaline kicks in, increasing heart rate and breathing, preparing your muscles for fight or flight. At the same time, there's another reaction called an analgesic response, which makes you more resistant to pain. It's a survival mechanism, and I'll explain more about it soon. Profanity provides an evolutionary advantage that can protect us from physical harm. Think about it. A dog or a cat will scratch or bite when they're scared or angry. Swearing allows us to express our emotions symbolically without resorting to tooth and nail. We humans can give somebody the finger or say the F word across the street. We don't have to get up in their face. Cursing then becomes a remote form of aggression, offering the chance to express feelings quickly without physically confronting anyone while avoiding consequences. Swearing can also make us stronger. In one study, cyclists who swore during intense pedaling had more power than those who used neutral words. Another study showed that people who cursed while squeezing a hand vice could squeeze harder and longer because swearing activates those ancient instincts we just talked about. Research shows that people who curse after experiencing something painful actually feel less pain than those who don't. If you've ever slammed your finger in a door, you know how much it hurts. But next time, try swearing, and you might feel better. It's all about triggering a stress response. Swearing releases adrenaline, which helps block out some of the pain, acting like a mini defense mechanism. Here's a fun fact. Research on swearing dates back to Victorian times, when doctors discovered that patients who lost their ability to speak could still curse. That's because childhood reprimands, swear words, and terms of endearment, words with strong emotional content learned early on, tend to be preserved in the brain even when all the rest of our language is lost. But the biggest surprise for me during my research was that humans aren't the only ones who swear. Primates do it too. Chimps that have been trained in sign language use the sign for poo just like we might use the word shit as a form of social expression, frustration, or even aggression. By the way, swearing seems to be tied to the creative side of our brain, the right hemisphere. People who have had strokes on that side of the brain often lose the ability to swear even if they used to do it all the time. So cursing is deeply linked to creativity and how we process and express emotions. Last but not least, as with everything in life, part of the power of curses comes from education. Remember when you were little and got in trouble for saying certain words? That punishment gave those words extra weight. Even as adults, when no one's there to scold us for swearing, the same sense of rebellion sticks with us. So when we curse, it feels kind of liberating, like we're breaking a small rule and getting away with it. So when you're in physical or emotional pain, letting out a strong word or two can literally make you feel better. It's almost as if your body rewards you for using those bad words. But here's the catch. Don't overdo it. If you swear all the time, your brain gets used to it and you lose that special effect. So if you want swearing to really work when it counts, it's best to save those words for when you truly need them. Swearing is just a part of being human. It helps us cope with pain, express ourselves, and even feel stronger in tough situations. While it won't solve your problems, it can help balance your emotions when you're facing something difficult. So, the next time you accidentally drop an F-bomb, cut yourself some slack. You're just doing what humans and even chimps have been doing for centuries, using the power of words to feel a little bit better, and that's totally fine. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting content. Thank you, and stay tuned.